Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel Scorpio. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good Scorpio. Let us see what is the guided message for the Scorpio sign please. Thank you so much guys for supporting the channel. Thank you so much guys for being here. If you would like to further connect with me Scorpio, click the bell. Click subscribe. Let us see what is the guided message for the Scorpio sign. What is the message that is meant for you to know? In love, career, money, and general situationship. Scorpio, this reading is for you, okay? What's coming towards you guys? Let's look at your focus. Let's look at your situation. And then the second part of the reading. Let's look into what's coming towards you. I'm also going to be doing an energy check-in. Okay, energy check-in for Scorpio. What is coming towards the Scorpio sign? The Emperor card. Who is this Emperor card? Um, the Queen of Swords. The Ten. Okay. The Nine of Cups. And the Justice card. Okay, Scorpio, let's start the reading. So, you're starting the reading, Scorpio, with the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords, this is like black out, okay? The Two of Swords is something that... I feel like there's a presence, okay? The Two of Swords, it feels like there's... I don't think you're coward, Scorpio. I think... I could feel how much you're willing to take a leap of faith, you know. Um, I feel like the two of swords in here, you trust your intuition, okay. I could feel the two of swords, the two of swords actually feels good. The two of swords in here, Scorpio, it feels like you're ready to take a leap of faith, okay. The two of swords, the two of swords is that you made up your mind. It's like you block this specific date you know it's like i'm gonna take a leap of faith i'm gonna take a risk and i'm going to do it on this day it feels like that so there's something powerful yeah you locked it in scorpio seven of wands nobody knows this is a scorpio thing like this is a scorpio thing it could be it's a feeling of i'm going to resign i'm gonna take a leap of faith i'm going to resign but I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to do it seven days from today. So there's something that you're doing. There's something that you are about to do. You're ready to take a leap of faith. But the way you're going to take a leap of faith is you're trusting your intuition on the exact date. This could be like you could be considering a career shift. Um, you could be considering a relocating shift you relocating definitely a movement you know it's something like it's very powerful you have your scorpio card in here um i feel like it's coming from you believe that you have the freedom to choose your direction and no matter what you choose it will be the right choice you know it's cor it's it's the correct choice you know because the Two of Swords, nobody knows. I don't know, but you're keeping it secret with the Death card in here. It could also be the advice to you, Scorpio, is that if you're about to take a leap of faith or take a risk, if it's a big change, if it's a huge major shift, keep it a secret. You know, keep it hush hush. Because I could feel it's so powerful. Um, you're trusting your intuition, especially you're next to the King of Cups, you know. Your feelings, your emotions is a huge part of your intuition. You feel good about doing this, taking a leap of faith, but you're not doing it on the spot. It's not an impulsive taking a leap of faith. There's a specific date, you know, like this is something, you know what, I'm going to resign or I'm going to do this, but not now. You have a specific date. You have a specific timeline. You've chosen the specific ordinance the order of when you will jump and really take a risk or take a leap of faith it's very powerful scorpio because it's coming from 
your heart because the king of cups this is a very the king of cups is always you the king of cups is an energy of loyalty your strength comes from your intuition and it's very grounded scorpio uh seven seven of wands the death card in here um there's still some layers of this choice that you're building up that's why i'm gonna resign but not now but i'm gonna resign and i'm gonna replace all of this you know so there's something like um where is where is you look 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 into your tent house i think there's something in your tent house scorpio that is activated so this could be connected to money because the six of swords is about movement travel you're gonna take a risk move shift travel you're going to move one money to an, to another bank you're going to you're going to change a direction like you're going to change your focus or there's something that you would take in here to here but you're not going to do it in the nearest day you're going to do it exactly where your intuition intuition is leading you it's a big it's a big shift you know it's it's something that the best is the best is coming for you scorpio this shift is mind-blowing for some of you guys because it's the first it's been so long since the last time you do it so it could be movement it could also be like you know not a big of a the way i describe it but it's something that you would do you would be trusting your intuition and you wouldn't be disappointed scorpio because this is like full force and the thing is you don't have anybody you don't need anyone's approval in here scorpio wow you know what scorpio if you change job wow scorpio like something tells me if if at some point for example i'm gonna take a risk i'm gonna take a leap of faith i'm gonna change my job i've been in this role for three five ten years i need to change job i need to evolve i need a change so you declare that taking a leap of faith or taking a risk i'm going to change this job you know and after probably i don't know six weeks maybe six months you were eight you were able to change job one big change something that you would change in your career in your location in your job in a location of your business in something that you have to travel to take a leap of faith to take a risk or to change the direction you're gonna find a soulmate in there it's a feeling of you know what i want to travel i want to take a break from eight to five job i want to travel for two months you know two of swords i want to travel for six weeks after that huge taking a leap of faith taking a risk there is an answered prayer if you are prayerful or you have your one of your manifestation or your dream it's going to be answered it's like the yes is like this is the answer to your dreams or this is a soulmate maybe yeah oh my gosh scorpio you could be after you travel you're going to meet a soulmate after a big shift you're going to get your dreams you have to compete for this but you're going to get it scorpio like something tells me that something tells me scorpio that from now probably up until end of 2024 you know um there's something that you would like to do it might take a bit of time but you're willing to do it that's probably your quiet you're not telling anyone about this but this is one of your dream this is something that this is one of there's something in here that you're willing to devote your time your attention and energy towards getting this and you believe with the king of cups that you know the divine and all of the mysterious forces are working over time to help me bring this soulmate or this dream into life this is one of your deepest desires in life scorpio it's beautiful okay and you know what i like your energy scorpio because you're keeping it quiet you're very quiet about your plan your manifestation you believe that okay this is what i want okay and if this is what i want i will devote my time and loyalty and attention and energy towards this plan because i know if i put devotely 
king of cups my time and energy towards this plan i know the divine the divine and its magical forces will work over time to help me bring this into life and five of wands you're willing to even be competitive like i would compete for the world to get this you know this soulmate card or like one of your deepest desire one of your dreams one of your beautiful manifestations corporate it's going to happen for you you just really have to keep it going and put a lot of your time like devote your time attention energy work towards this and i tell you this secret recipe will allow you to bring this soulmate into life or this dream into life it is here already i could feel you know like i could feel that you're going to reach for something so beautiful in here because you're you're decided there's something in here that you're very very decided and for some of you guys um for some of you guys you could be you could be feeling like you know will it ever happen sunshine of course if you want a proof you know if you want if you're looking for proof of manifestation you are living at least one of your dreams at the moment scorpio i manifested this life scorpio this vlog i manifested it i manifested it five years ago so whatever you're manifesting right now it will lead you one two three four years five years from now i manifested this life this is exactly how i manifested my life but the thing is when i was manifesting when i was manifesting manifesting to be a vlogger i never really manifested to have money my manifestation i would remember i have an argentinian friend and i keep telling her you know what we would walk in the park we would i swear to my mother i i have seen this or have manifested on this okay we would walk in the park and i was oh i will always told my i was oh well, i will i always tell maria her name is maria is that you know what i would like to have a life where i could wake up anytime i want in the morning and i want to be able to visit all of the cafes here in where i live or how I, w- I can control my time that is the life that i want and little did i know that you have to be a boss you have to be a vlogger you know i never wanted like really i want to be rich it's more of like the freedom to do something this is where it leads me so for you scorpio if you don't believe in manifestation look at you right now you are living at least one of your manifestation one of your dreams at the moment and it's connected to your manifestation so keep on like the two of swords keep your manifestation a secret yeah that's one of your um mysterious but magical um power scorp you keep your manifestation secret until it comes to life but there's something in here scorpio there's something in here that the universe is gonna assist you and help you let this soulmate come into life or a manifestation is coming into life five five weeks five months from now it's something big it's and it's connected to if you change a sector of your life it will activate this okay for kunyari so i'm talking tagalog for example if you know if you change job or if you don't change job you probably wanted to okay maybe you can swap job you can swap career or maybe you're gonna go full-time to part-time or maybe you want to take a break okay i want to take a break from full-time to part-time or maybe i want to take a long break from you know six weeks travel or for some of you something something that you're willing to take a leap of faith to take a risk it's a change it's a big shift it's going to shake up your life and it's going to realign you or it's going to take a shortcut to the soulmate and it's connected to completion a major shift a 360 degree of event is where you're going to lead to that soulmate card and that is how life is you know sometimes the best of the best will come if you push the change but there are some path that it's really your it's like your destiny like even if you don't do it you're gonna have that life that thing um you 
it, it's going to come for you. So with me, this light worker job, I thought that I was able to activate the light worker job because when I think back three, seven years ago, I always say after my divorce, I was broken. I was broke. I was fat. <laughs> I thought that if I didn't break up with my ex, you know, I wouldn't have this life. But two years ago, I had some epiphany. I had some dream and it was really part of my, it was part of my destiny to be a light worker. So even though I break up with that ex, I'm still going to be a light worker. So sometimes it takes a while to understand your path but it will so this is i'm embracing this i'm making peace that this is part of my destiny there are so many things that i couldn't i couldn't do because of this light worker job some people like if i travel i have to vlog and some some of my friends or family would be annoyed with me anyway that is my problem i need to do my job okay um okay all right now scorpio what else is coming towards you? You have an emperor, okay? You have an emperor. This is what's coming towards you. Now, the history of this person, okay? This is what's coming towards you, Scorpio. The emperor is coming from a nine of swords. So, let's look at the nine of swords in here. So, the, the emperor, you gave them a problem, Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, this emperor, you gave them a problem. It's like they started the problem and you gave them back the problem, okay? So they have a problem because you're not there. Yeah, it could be a Virgo. It could be a situation connected to something that you've let go, you've disconnected, you've blocked, you resigned, you ignored it. Um, I think what I'm getting at with the emperor is that they gave you a problem and you responded with a problem. Like they gave you something complicated, you gave them the same vibe, basically. If they ignored you, you ignored them. You never responded. So they gave you a problem and it backfired to them. After so much time of overthinking, yeah, this person, the Emperor card, ooh, see? When the High Priestess is here, we have two. Yeah, so see the High Priestess. So this person, the Emperor gave you a problem. And in response to them, you also gave the same problem. Basically, what they did, you probably mirror it, okay? But I don't think you were mean when you were doing that. No, I don't think so. You just asserted yourself diplomatically. Whether this person ghosted you, whether this person showed you some ego trip, you know, power trip in here, or it could be like if they ignored you, for example, if this person ignored you, you also ignored them. Because the thing is, what what's connecting you is the Ten of Pentacles. So there was something great between the two of you, okay? This is why, this is why, like this, this is why you're going to look at, because the Justice card, I mean, the Nine of Cups, you're going to be very happy for their return. But you're going to look at it, it, you're going to look at this person in such a critical way um, like you're going to give them like a, like you're going to, you're going to roll your eyes. Okay, here you go again, or you're back, you know, you're going to give them a bit of a snarky, um, but I don't think it's rude. Like, oh, you're back a little bit of sarcasm, you know, nobody's an angel, but you're going to take a look at the return, something critical because you shared this tent. This is the connecting energy between you and this person. The connecting energy between you and this person is that you shared a, you shared a Ten of Pentacles. So you work together, you share time, you share money, you share love. There's something mutual, strong. Like this is a very strong mutual sharing. And for some reason, they gave you a problem and you gave them a problem too. They started it. I mean, you're no angel, but whatever they did, you just gave it back to them. You throw it back to them. After after them overthinking, they will return with the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is like inviting you. Can we talk? Can we have a meeting? Um, like this person, I'm hearing the word. They want to keep their head, like this person, they want to keep their head down 
and focus on getting things done. Okay, that's what they want. And they're going to reach out. After reach after they reach after they reach out, they will possibly have an offer depending on your conversation. I mean, this is your reaction. Of course you're gonna be happy because they're back and you have some unfinished I mean, this is a person who served who gave you a ten. You wouldn't get a ten, you know, if you're not happy with it. You're happy with this person. Whether it's a bo whether it's a boss, a manager, a friend, a lover. You were happy with them, but they gave you a problem. Or they created a problem. Thank you, Spirit. So this person created a problem. Now, the universe is advising you, take a look at it carefully. Explore. Explore it cautiously. And don't reject it. Be fair. And hear them out because they have an offer. Okay? At the end of the day, you're dealing with an emperor who has this money or power or stability and intelligence. Nobody's in jail. I think they made a mistake. Maybe they're using their emperor vibe to insecure you or something, but it wouldn't work. You're too intuitive. You know, with a high priestess, you definitely felt like you're power tripping me. You're playing ego. You cannot intimidate me. I like you so much, but I wouldn't die without you. So... You can get lost, you know. No no offense, no hard feelings. If you can make me feel this way, I can make you feel this way too. And just this card, I see you cautiously looking into their offer. Because why not? An emperor and a ten, this is good. Explore it. Head down. Like this person, their head is down. Grounded. Let's talk Scorpio, okay? And hear them out, but don't reject them without hearing them out Scorpio there is something big that this person would like to offer it to you okay thank you so much Scorpio thank you for connecting with me thank you so much guys for supporting the channel sorry sorry for oversharing I will see you soon again guys you have a great day bye Scorpio